Jason Murth, the Birdman, and we are at the Whitworth Gallery in Boca Raton at the Town Center Mall. I'm with Richard O'Mahony Jr. and uh, it's a beautiful gallery. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm proud of it. How many locations do you have now? Well, we have eight galleries throughout the country, all along the eastern seaboard, all the way from uh, New York, New Jersey, all the way down to Miami. Oh, wow, perfect. So, yeah. Boca Raton is one of the great markets to have a gallery in. Now, with Rick O'Casey of the Cars, a rock and roll guy who's hated, uh, is this a trend to follow, you know, Tony Bennett paints, Sylvester Stallone paints? There's all these people who well, have. It's kind of interesting with Rick because he's been actually doing this for decades. He's actually been painting and creating artwork for the last 30, 40 years, but yes. he's never exhibited it before. Um, and since we do shows with a lot of other people, you know, we felt it was a perfect match. We talked to him and said, listen, you should, you should do like, exhibits with this new work. You know, it's very, very good. People are going to love it. And he said, okay, and we've been doing them ever since, the last year. How has the response been? Unbelievable. Uh, we just did a couple shows in the D.C. area, which were unbelievably packed with people. Everybody was happy. Uh, it was a great turnout. It was a great uh, reception. We did a gallery, uh, show in my gallery in New Jersey. Um, earlier, uh, a few months ago, and it was the same thing. Tons of people were there. I can only imagine people snapping up some of this art as well. It's he, He's been actually, and, and you kind of really happy for him because he didn't really know what it was going to be like since it was his first ex exhibition. And the response of the amount of pieces that people acquired, uh, fanfare, the amount of people that actually decided, you know what, I want to hang this in my house, was beyond expectation. So he was, we were all very happy. Well, we have a shot of Andy Warhol that... Uh, yep. They were actually really good friends. Yes, yes, and I was going to say they both painted each other. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. The cover, back cover of Rick's uh, book is actually one of Andy Warhol's original that Andy painted of Rick. I'm Tim Bird, the Birdman, and we are at Whitworth Gallery. Rick O'Casey has his art on display all over the place. He's a family man, together with his beautiful wife and his two sons, and he's been a busy guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a really busy guy. Let me ask you this about him real quick. Is he by himself or does he like the best of us? You know what? The thing about his painting is that that is one thing he does pretty much from the time that he wakes up and has a coffee until he goes to bed. If he is sitting down, he's drawing. I mean, he does it. I would say, I mean, you know, music is, uh, he does intently and focused for a certain amount of time. But drawing, he does like he breathes. Like, he can't sit down to that pen and paper. So that is almost like an appendage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never, sit, never seen him sit down and not draw. That's amazing. Listen, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Tim Bird, we had a great time with Paulina. She's hiding now. <laughs>
Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so this, this is something that you just do all the time, period. Yeah, I kind of do it, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a way to sort of uh, get away from things for me, or just to uh, thinking, you know, about things. Uh, a little different music because I have to, have to be played and writing songs is a different, but the creative process is uh, very similar. Well, I would imagine it's a great escape from the technological aspect into the music yeah. of that. Yeah. That, I'll wrap it up. I, I promise you it'd be short. Thank you so it's much nice. for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming by. And, and I'm glad to have met you after all the years of being on the radio and doing your thing and seeing your art as well. Great. Yeah, Thank great you so much for your time. time. Thank you. Thank you very much. So far tonight, it's been great. There's a line out the door. Yeah, right, yeah. Down the hallway. We're, we're a little bit crowded. Yeah, yeah, just a tad. Yeah, huh? It's a good thing. So, that, success like that is, is a good thing. So, you see, this is a trend. So, do you, do you know who the next well, we artist do, might well, be? Well, we do shows with other artists. You know, for instance, in the same genre, Paul Stanley from Kiss, uh, Mickey Hart from The Grateful Dead, Rick Allen from Def Leppard, right. um, you know, Jane Seymour, um, and then we all obviously have the really big name artists, Romero Brito, Peter Max. Um, so, you know, uh, we feel it's a great opportunity when we have a show with an artist that you get to come in, meet the artist, acquire one of those pieces, and actually put a, pick, a face and a personality behind the acquisition. You see something, you like it, and then you actually get to spend time with the artist and actually get it. Because it's not just a, getting the artwork, it's the memories that come with it too. You remember who you got it, who you talked to, how it happened, uh, meeting the artist. So sure. it's, a, it's a great experience all around. So, you know, people talk about rock and roll all the time, so Wentworth Gallery is pretty much a rock and roll gallery. We, we do a bit of it, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would say it's a, it's what we do a lot of things, but that's a good way to characterize it. Richard, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, you for much. having us here in Boca Raton for this wonderful evening. And, uh, well, it's, it's a great time. The, the crowd is building all the way down the mall here at Town Center. I'm Tim Bird, the Birdman, for Palm Beach Liveboard Play and Palm Beach TV.